No, I'm not doing a panorama. Stop. Oh, what did I do? There we go. I think I got it to semi-normal. How do we look? We good? Somehow now I'm too tall. How have I gone from being too low the entire stream to now I'm too tall? Hello, by the way. How's everyone going? Oh wait, that light's still on. Hold on. <laughs> I was strangling you. Will 18's light brother? <laughs> what? By the way, Domine, uh, I think you were one of the first ones who died. We finally got a vampire in the base somewhere. You, we, we, you were drained of all your blood. Just a heads up. <laughs> I have nothing to trade to you. I still have nothing. To, I, have, I have no economy worth speaking of. I don't know why we have so many dwarves here. <laughs> Yay me. Quill 18's light brother. Why does it sound familiar? Why do I recognize that name? Oh, he does. He does Hoi 4. That's why. Okay. Makes YouTube's about door 4. But say I've heard that name before. He does tutorials. Well, I think I bumped into him for Hearts of Iron for uh, Dominate getting dwarf 10. Dominate, you are a legendary weaponsmith. Dwarf 5 for Coca Cola. Koga Koala, you are a hauler. I always get your name wrong. Coca Koala. Five. There we go. Give that a little bit. Oh, good. If I just let them all die. Oh, when to hydrate it. Gotcha. I don't know. I, at some point I'm going to, I, I say upgrade. I, I don't need to upgrade. This camera's good, but this camera's good for one thing. I'm going to get, a, I need to get a second camera for like pulled back views for like whenever I'm doing something in the room. Cause this one I got is very good for a foreground, like headshot thing, but it doesn't do different depths. If that makes sense, which looks very awesome, but it's very bad. If you're trying to do like a, Hold on, I gotta grab something like view of the room sort of thing. All right, everything is basically nearly done for these rooms at least. Uh, bedrooms 29, unowned bedrooms two. No, yeah. Units without bedrooms, 77. Fuck me. Like, if I just crammed beds into all of these, we'd have enough room. Everyone would be living together, but we'd have enough room. Is this the try-hard Triforce base? It is. 
Oh, League of Legends. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower the music just a little bit. I have been going through the post-last expansion content for Final Fantasy XIV. Modern, the new Modern Warfare game. I got platinum on shotguns. So it is now guaranteed and proven that I am the shiniest turd on the shit pile. And... <laughs> And I haven't really done much, but I, I downloaded and played a little bit the Weeb Souls game, Code Vein. <laughs> Shiny turd. Well, no, so for anyone who's not aware how the skinning system works in the new Modern Warfare game, as you level up your gun, you get different attachments. That's fine. But at certain levels, it unlocks new challenges that you have to do with the gun to unlock different skins for it. Different challenges unlock different skins. When you've completed every challenge with a gun, you unlock its gold skin. When you complete all the challenges for all the weapons in a category, you unlock all of their platinum skin at the same time. So by getting platinum skin for shotguns, easily the lowest fucking skill needed weapon in the game, like the newbiest garbage weapon, it means that I've taken every shotgun and used it through all of their challenges and unlocked all of their completion bonus skins. <laughs> so legit, not only have I been using the garbage tier, you are a noob shotgun, but I've used every garbage tier, you are a noob shotgun to such a degree that I have the special skin proving that I am the master of the you are a fucking noob garbage piece of shit at this game shotgun wielder. <laughs> oh no, that's my point. I don't mean like they, they are garbage to use. I mean, you are a garbage person for using them. I like them too. Don't get me wrong. I love the shotguns, but we're garbage people. The shotguns in a Modern Warfare game do not uh, calculate like other guns do. And with how close a lot of the maps are, it makes them OP and fucking unnecessary. The highest honor mediocrity can bestow. So when you do a gun, you have like, oh, I miss in this circle. And what it will do is you're aiming here, it'll calculate the miss direction and the miss deviation. And that's where your bullet really is. But when you do a shotgun, uh, your miss area is like a cone it calculates for what it's dividing your damage up amongst because it's doing different pellets. So the more, the bigger your miss area for every gun means the less likely are you are to hit your opponent. With a shotgun though, it means the more likely you are to hit your opponent. Com Mix that with the fact that it does damage at close range and as long as you're at close range and surprise your opponent, you just guarantee you're going to hit them without needing to aim. So it's a gar garbage weapon, considering every map in the latest Call of Duty is like this close together. There's not really too many maps that have a long distance area. So I just sit around corners and I just kill people like a jackass. As soon as I see movement, I literally call one of the guns, I call it the Spazitron. Cause like your screen is this big and the circle's like this big. So literally if I see movement, I just jerk my mouse in that direction and click. And usually they're dead. If they're not, I click again. Cause you can click twice or you have to reload and they're dead by the second one. It is the greatest, greatest garbage weapon ever. And I love it. Sixteen times the detail. <laughs> it's not your fault. Everyone else is bad. The funny thing is, that's actually kind of my counter. Whenever someone gets angry, it's like you're you're a fucking noob. You just use a shotgun. I go, no. I have platinum skin. I'll just use a shotgun. I excel. I excel with this garbage weapon. They've done the game so weird that I have out sniped snipers with a shotgun, not using a slug because of the way it calculates that damage. It's really weird. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine doors. Kind of like the beat on this song. I don't know what this is, but I like the beat.
Yeah, now I've actually, to counter that though, I've now been trying to start working on the sniper rifles, which are technically almost as stupid and newbie a weapon as they only, like sniper, not the marksman rifles, the sniper rifles, which are basically one shot kills if you hit, but they're designed to be so fucking aimed in, you can't see what's around you. So I just don't care what's around me. I just camp an entire match looking at a door and like get to third place and score just by getting headshots. For every game, like play the game in easy mode for people over 30. <laughs> this is true though. It's really weird. It's really kind of weird. What is the song? I kind of like the beat. Oh, Shirox. I Okay, it's an Undertale thing. No wonder. Let's say, oh, uh, what was it? Shirox had one. He had a really crazy one. Uh, hold on. I'm going to try to remember what this was. It was Shirox song request. Shirox Megalo. Albania remix, but he had one that was like really high beat. That was not it. That's not it. He has like a really high beat Megalovania remix and it's, I tried running to it. I nearly had a fucking heart attack over in the Middle East. I, for, I forget what it was called. I removed that from the, I removed that from the playlist. Um, but no, when I was over in the Middle East, we would, uh, we didn't want to run outside in the desert and try to die of dehydration. We had like this little PT tent thing and they had treadmills. So I'd go on the treadmill and I would put on whatever music and I tried to basically run to the beat of the music. And there was this weird Chirox one that had a really high beat that I could actually maintain for like 25 seconds before I just died. And it kind of looked good every now and then when my leader, if like leadership came in and they would see me like getting it on the treadmill. Cause, cause it goes like really fast and slow and shit like that. But there's this one part that's just really, really long. And that's when the leadership came in, but like they didn't just come in, like they came in to get on one of the other treadmills. So all of a sudden it became uh, oh shit, I have to legit maintain this pace now. So I don't just look like I'm sprinting whenever leadership gets in here. <laughs> so freaking I like you start feeling the palpitations and the burning at like 30 seconds in at like a minute you're like lightheaded you're not getting oxygen at this point you should have stopped long ago and like, <laughs> like a minute and 20 in I think I legit blacked out I didn't pass out but but it was fucking close it was it was not a good thing to be doing I did not die no I really, really wanted to. I know you end up doing, why well, say things like that. You end up with a freaking. why are they acting? Oh, because I got rid of the ramp. Fuck, I got rid of that ramp way too early. I didn't think that one through. I can't get up now. I shouldn't have gotten rid of that ramp. I am not a smart man. What if I build a ramp along this wall right here? Would this work? Or no, if I build a ramp here, would that count? Where you end up with an ability of, well, I'm not dead, so I'm gonna keep going. You end up with like a determination that really you don't need to have because a lot of people end up dying doing stupid shit. But it, yeah, it's amazing. Now that's not it either. What was it? Why do you need to run on a treadmill in the desert of the Middle East? So, you always need to be fit, no matter what. So, there, there are like a bunch of things that work into this. I'm gonna work from the top and work my way down. One, all your leadership looks better the, the better their troops do on the PT test, which you have to do like twice a year. The PT test at that time was, uh, you need to do a certain amount of push-ups in two minutes. I think to pass not like a high score but you don't get kicked out of the military i had to do like 40 hold on let me see if i can find the old metrics 
Army PT scores. Because they're changing it now to something fucking weird. They're like, they're, they're changing the fucking things now. So it's, it's really weird. The push-up event measures the endurance of your, shut up. I need, I need to see what the actual scores are though. Okay, here we go. Standards for push-ups. In order to pass in push-ups in two minutes, I had to do 40. I was okay at it. I would do like 50, 52. Not the greatest, but not barely passing. In order to get a 100% score, where, whereby getting more than that is kind of basically pointless, you need to do 75. Females in the same age bracket only need to do 17 push-ups, and they max their score at 46. Sit-ups are the same between male and female. In order to barely pass, you need 50. In order to get 100%, you need 80. It's actually really good at sit-ups. I'd get, like, low 70s, high 60s. Then you get to what I sucked at, the two-mile run. You have to run two miles in a certain amount of time. In order to pass, I would need to get a, I would need to run two miles in less than 16 minutes and 36 seconds. In order to get the maximum score, I would need to run two miles in 13 minutes. Uh, in Japan, when I was a paralegal, I actually got really close. I think I was in the 13s. I was like 13 minutes, 50 seconds or something. But every time I was in Patriot, I was really bad really bad like high to mid 15s like i had a minute minute and a half to spare but not not by much so you everyone needs to pass this stay in the military and the better a score everyone does the better a score everyone does the better ship better the leadership looks so the leadership is always on everyone's ass 24 fucking 7 to be doing these stupid like oh you got you got to do pt you got to do pt every day PT every day. You're doing PT today, but that wasn't good enough PT. You gotta do more, 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 more PT. You gotta do PT. Accepting, of course, that everyone who ever does things to be physically fit tells you the way the army did PT was garbage and only damaged your body. That's one of the reasons why they're changing up the PT standards now. Because for a period of time, they 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 would just literally make make you run till you broke yourself and couldn't fucking walk. It was awful. It was stupid. But. So you always have to be doing PT. There is no excuse for not doing PT. So if I did, if I worked for 24 hours, I had a 24 hour shift of needing to make sure the enemy weren't engaging us with missiles. I would still in the middle of this shift have to do a rotation where someone did their job and covered my job so I could go do PT for an hour because you have to do PT every single day all the time, always. Do your running. Your running's your weak point. You need to be running 15 miles a day. Okay, not 15 miles, but you get my point. So, either you're doing PT at night, in which case it's dark, you're not running around in the Middle East, outside the gate. You're not running around out in the desert when you can't see. That's how you die. If you're doing PT during the day, and not everyone's available because again, if you're going out, you're still out and about. You want more you want more people to kind of be safe. Even if you're like within one set of walls, because like you're in walls to be in walls, it's really weird. Even then, you're, you're, you're not going to be going out there in the desert heat running by yourself, if that makes sense. So times like that, you would do it, you have to do the PT. So you do it in this goofy little PT building thing. But like I said, even if I, what I wanted to do was weightlifting, they never liked weightlifting. They always wanted you to run. It was always cardiovascular. You've always got to run. More running, more running. Monday morning, what are we going to do today? We're going to do a five mile run. Tuesday, can't do a run. You have to do muscle failure. So what are we going to do today? We're going to do legs. Let's do squats and shit. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday, we did muscle failure yesterday, so we gotta do cardiovascular today. Let's go. Let's go run for freaking three miles. But they're not, we're not. We're not just doing a jog. Now we have to do like last man up sprints and shit. It was a fucking hated. <laughs> like I said, I did better in PT when I was with the paralegals because they didn't have the same job metrics, if that makes sense. They didn't care as much. So I was actually way fitter when I didn't have someone screaming at me every day to run miles upon miles upon miles. Oh, it's Friday. It's payday activity, so we're going to have a nice, easy day. 
you. Nope. That's a lie. We're going to have the entire battalion run in a battalion run, screaming cadences the whole way, fucking having people run up and back, holding up gigantic freaking flags and shit. And everyone has to be calling and running in cadence. And, oh, God, someone slow down. So we have to speed up. Everyone fucking sprint. We've only gone four miles. Let's go two more. Dear Lord. I don't have PTSD about exercising. <laughs> that shit was awful. I can run. <laughs> Need to run 10 miles every hour. Like, you're joking, but you're kind, you're kind of not. It was, it's just really, really weird. Like, they would, they would make us do. Like, the people... How do I word this correctly? The people who got hundreds. Like, they maxed out every standard. This is when I was in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. They had a thing where people who got hundreds and maxed out every standard were allowed to not do PT. Or they did PT, but they were allowed so that they could do PT at a gym. They could just do whatever they wanted for PT. As long as they maintained their own standard, they were proven that uh, that they were fine. They were fit. They don't need supervision. Just let them do what they want. And so this ins this motivated people, a lot of people, to get more fit. Because this meant they could just they could run. They, 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 like, they could just do their own, their, their, their own physical training in the gym. In the morning, the every day, without having to do stupid content, shit. Check out my other videos on but what ended up happening, and, other Zelda and I'm, a, I'm serious about this, I really hope what you ended guys up like this happening is and if you especially a bunch of people got motivated, sure so a bunch of people fans, did this thing, so they Until would go to the time. gym. So what happened is, a bunch of our troops were at the gym every morning. But then, like, the battalion, like, the base commander, like, the really higher-ups, who would go there with their higher up officer buddies and or their wives and so on and so forth got miffed because that they couldn't they could now not use the machines themselves because now there's more people using the machines so they were so then they they looked into it they figured out that a lot of these soldiers were coming from our unit so they yelled at our unit for not keeping supervision on our soldiers so our unit forced all those soldiers to come back and do regular PT You've never seen so many people's PT scores fucking plummet. As all these people who are maxing out the scores, they, 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 they were told they had to come back and do regular PT. But now, not only like, is it that their motivation was down, but if you're doing that type of PT in the morning, you need rest. So these people who are smart about it, wouldn't do PT later on their own because they, they weren't going to like break themselves, if that makes sense. So their physical fitness just plummeted and, and they were just getting more injured now. Basically because the higher up leadership was kind of annoyed that it was more noisy in the morning in the gym And this is like in the States. This is in the Middle East. This is in the States Basically some people were they, they, they got annoyed and or the wives got annoyed or something leadership complained So people who were good at PT were basically punished. So they stopped being good at PT It was really really fucking PT and shaving, like those are my two big complaints. Like I, like there are people that I could say stories on, and I can complain about people. But my two big legit complaints about the military is shaving and physical training. From what I understand, they've changed the physical training now. So maybe with the new tests and the new standards, they have shit that makes sense to do. So maybe it's better now. So that might be changed. Willing to bet that they never learned about the freaking shaving thing, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, yeah, no, Alapega. No, no, part of their drug test that they always did was steroids. If you did steroids, you got kicked out. You weren't allowed to you weren't allowed to take steroids to be good at PT. No, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry, should have made that clear. That, that that's one of the things they test for. You are not allowed to have steroids or they kick you out. Like I said, it was just really, really dumb. Didn't make any sense. Not a cabinet. I need more doors. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll just do ten doors, see how well we get. Someone else shaves you? 
No, no, it's not that someone else shaves you. It's someone else screams at you about most shaving rules that n most of them never bothered to follow. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> at the warships are gonna hit. It's great. So this is Trash Man. Um, I'm gonna lower it a little bit during Trash Man, just because I know. I knew that part was coming. Um, so to sum up, there, there's AR 670-1, oh my god, uh, army regulation, where it's how you have to be presented, how you wear your uniforms, what you're allowed to look like, hairstyles, so on and so forth. Basically, it's the it's the medium fade. It's it's like the regulation says you have to be medium fade and everything else. Part of it is how you're allowed to present your face. While a soldier is in uniform or on duty, in uniform or on duty, he has to be clean shaven. He is allowed a mustache, but the mustache cannot extend below his lip, nor can it extend past his lip. There's a good reason for this. It's because the United States Army, the, uh, the gas mask, the things you put on so you don't get taken out like nerve agents and stuff, is designed like garbage compared to the rest of the worlds. The rest of the worlds have this thing that like goes over the top of your head and your shoulders and shit, and it goes into your uniform. So it's great and it fits on everything. I, uh, Royal Star Lord, I, I don't know how. I generally have no clue how to make it show the, so the song list. Like we've been trying to track down the command. I don't think there's a command. Short of me just reading it, I have no clue how to show it to you guys. You can do next, I think, and that just shows you what the next song is. The United States Army, though, has a gas mask from like World War fucking one, which is designed to be put on really fast and taken off really fast. But that means it's also less user friendly. What it is, is the seal on it is literally right here. Like it goes around your face and it's, and it's like held on really tight just to your face. It doesn't go, it's not a hood. It doesn't go over your head. So in order to make sure you have an airtight seal, you have to make sure all of this is just skin. It can't be hair. So you can't have a beard and you can't say within the area of that. So they just say completely clean shaven because some people's sideburns come out of it. So you have to be completely clean shaven. Why there's a restriction on the part for the mustache? I don't know, but that's why. So there is a reason. I'm not saying the idea in general is dumb, but the two restrictions are on uniform or on duty. So, some people don't seem to, some leadership doesn't believe this. For some reason, even if you show it to them, they believe that you're lying to them or they think that you're trying to find a loophole and it's just not true. That's that's why you need to be, that's when and why you need to be clean shaven. One, the, like this is reddish, but this is blackish or it's the other way around, I forget which one. Uh, my hairs are a bit thick compared to my pale half ginger complexion. So even when it's just in the skin, it's very noticeable. So it looks like I have a five o'clock shadow. I basically get a five o'clock shadow at like 2.30 in the afternoon. So I would have to shave multiple times in a day. And since I'm already basically shaven and it's practically smooth, in order to shave it, shave it, I have to be taking off the top layer of skin. Like I have to shave myself raw every day just so I wouldn't get yelled at for not shaving that day. Because leadership doesn't understand that if I have a pale complexion, my beard shows up better if it's exceptionally dark. You can't get this through to some people. So I would always get yelled at, so I had to make sure I'd shave multiple times a day. This kind of makes someone not want to shave, especially if the second shave always makes your skin irritated. There's no amount of shaving gel or aftershave or anything that doesn't leave you not irritated if you have to shave to the skin multiple times a day. So I would not shave on the weekend, and I would always have this argument where, especially when I would, especially if I had new leadership, where they'd do like their checks because I lived in the barracks, and they check, they go around, they make sure all the soldiers aren't doing shit, and they knock on the door, and I'd say hi, and they'd see that I hadn't shaved, and they'd be like, "Well, you have to shave." And I'd go, "No, I don't." Yes, you do. You have to be clean shaven. And I go, "No, I have to be clean shaven in uniform or on duty." And they go, "Ah, but as a United States soldier, you're on duty 24/7." So. This is a weird nonsensical bullshit. It, 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 it's like a business thing. Like we believe in family, you know, it's just a phrase 
It's not codified correctly. This duty term is not codified. So I'd say, no, you're not. You can't be on duty 24 seven. And they would say, yes, you can. And I would, re I would retaliate with, you cannot drink while on duty. So if I have to shave, we're gonna go around the barracks and we're just gonna, we're gonna rest. We're just gonna arrest everyone who has alcohol right now, right? Anyone who's had alcohol in the past 24 hours, we're gonna arrest them, right? They're drinking on duty. You're on duty 24 seven. They're drinking, they're drinking on duty. Let's just go arrest half the fucking battalion right now. Let's do this, Sergeant. Let's do this. I'll help you. I'll bang on everyone's door. Let's just start bringing them up. Of course, I'd get in trouble for getting flippant at this point. But they, they would, like some leaders would not codify these two together. They, they would do mental gymnastics where no, you can drink because you're not working and they wouldn't correlate not working with not being on duty, but only for drinking. You're allowed to drink, but you have to shave. And I would refuse. I, like, like, I, would, I would do most anything I was told to do except shaving on the weekend. I would constantly refuse, let them try to fucking hem me up. Which thing would it come down to is, in order to hem me up, they'd have to go through my first line, and I was a fantastically awesome greatest soldier ever known to exist. So my leadership would be like, you want me to write up strategist no no that's not happening i don't care what he does <laughs> he's not leaving his bedroom he's playing video games he's a nerd i have people who are dr drinking and driving and crashing on the weekends and you want me to write up strategist for having a bit of a beer like i would shave if i left my room don't get me wrong if i left my room like when i would go to the store i would do a quick buzz you know what i'm saying but not if I was in the morning in my room playing games. I'm not shaving. That's not happening. I'm not shaving to play freaking Doom. I'm not shaving to play World of Warcraft. That's stupid. So it ended up not getting to anything until I got a new leader and the new leader would try to argue with me and write me up and I would just be like, okay, I'll fight this. I'm allowed to, oh, but it's in the blue book. No, it's not. The blue book literally just said the exact same thing the regulation says on duty because everyone assumes on duty means 24 7 because it's not properly codified i'm like no no it doesn't sure enough no it didn't the army was going to put out a change where someone higher up recognized that there was this loophole i'm going to use loophole for now recognize that you could have a beard on the weekends so they were going to do a major change where you're going to get rid of tattoos and shit. tattoos weren't allowed and you weren't allowed to get promoted if you had a tattoo and part of this, they very specifically pointed out that they were gonna make a change to the shaving rules where you had to be shaven 24 seven. If they had switched it to you have to be shaven 24 seven, I would have been angry, but I would have done it because I follow the rules. I would have done it. I wouldn't have been happy about it, but I would have done it. When they released the new version of the regulations, they had the exact same terminology as they had before. They said they were gonna change the shaving rules but they didn't. They used the exact same verbiage, the exact same words. They copied and pasted from the old rules. So I didn't start shaving. The leadership who had gone through these classes and what the rules were going to be, tried to yell at me and get on to me and force me to shave because they were told that's what the rules were going to be. But none of them read the fucking rules when they were actually released. They just knew that they were told what the rules were going to be so they were going to lead as how they were told they were going to be, but none of them bothered to read the fucking rules. So there were a couple periods of time where I got in trouble a bunch, but I never got written up because you can't write up someone for following the rules. So it was like, it was a constant argument I had throughout my six slash seven years in the military is on the weekends, I would not fucking shave. No, it was dumb and I'm not doing it. And I didn't. So that's, yeah, that's kind of one of the reasons why I have a beard right now. Like if, I, if I'm not paying attention and I'm deep in thought, I'll like mindlessly pick at it. Mostly kind of like, not to, not to say, not to say PTSD, but kind of a thing because of it. Because I would constantly get in trouble if I had any hair showing. In the military, if I felt any hairs, I would just pick it. So now when I'm in thought, I like pick at my hair a little bit. So I end up with a depth issue where this will get out big and this will be lower. Because I occasionally pick at it. It would look better if I just shaved it. But I legit hate the idea of shaving so much now that I don't ever want to shave my beard. 
I really don't just because of how much argument I've had for seven fucking years about people telling me to shave when I did not need to shave and there was no reason to shave to begin with. But no, it was really... What if you'd rather die than shave? Yeah, no. Sorry, I, I, I mixed a few of the commands. Uh, like I said, I understood the idea if I'd rather die than shave. I understood the idea for why he was there, but again, I'm on the weekend and I'm playing like a game in my room. If someone... Like nerve agents, Oklahoma, on a Saturday, far enough in a military base to get me playing some nerdy ass video game on my computer, they deserve to win that fight. I'm just gonna be a dead. Like I'm gonna be lost on that statistic. If some foreign freaking government somehow nerve agents the middle of a U.S. Army base in the middle of Oklahoma, fine, whatever they win. Also. If they did do that, I would never have a warning. So I wouldn't put on the mask to begin with, I would just die. Fuck it, they win that engagement. Yeah, no, I like like I said, you shave it deep enough, like I yeah, I would always get the, as you're pointing out, the facial chicken pox. I'd get little bumps and shit from doing it. Now you can get a thing called a shaving profile. A profile in the military is essentially an order from a doctor saying, you cannot force the soldier to do this thing. For some medical reason, he can't do it. So if I broke my leg, I would have a no running profile. Soldier cannot go running, his leg is broken. He has the broke leg. There is a thing called a shaving profile and it's racist as hell. It's, it's just racist as hell. For some reason, if you are of, uh, I'll say African descent, uh, genetically, because of curly hair, they're predisposed to ingrown hairs. So if anyone of that descent claims, just at all claims, that shaving causes them irritation, the RNU would basically immediately just write them a no shaving profile. So you would see a ton of that skin type with beards. And then on the weekend, they would trim it to look nice. Like, like they'd trim it up into something nice looking when they went out in the town. However, I, of pale complexion, do not naturally get ingrown hairs. Didn't matter if I had occasionally something got infected from the constant shaving, or if I got cut, or if I did anything else. That wasn't an ingrown hair, so I was never allowed a shaving profile. Didn't matter if there was sand, if we had been out in the field, didn't matter if I had gotten infections or anything like that, that doesn't count. So I had to shave, but a bunch of people in my unit didn't have to. There were actually a bunch of people that got in trouble for just not shaving before, and then eventually like some leadership would be like, you know, how long is your shaving profile for? Cause sometimes they'd be like, oh, this person can't shave. Like he has to, he has to trim it to within an inch. Like a no shaving profile would say how long your hair is allowed to be, for instance. And the guy would have, different weeks would have variable length on his face. So finally some leadership was like, how long does, do you actually have to be? Because your thing is always different. And he has to see his no shaving profile. And lo and behold, he never had one. He never had a no shaving profile. He just didn't shave. And because enough people that looked like him have no shaving profiles, none of the leadership bothered to yell at him. So he just got away with it. It was, I fucking hate shaving. It was, it's awful and it's stupid. Add shave, you can't order me to shave. I'm a nerd and I follow the rules. I'm off duty now, that's like Call of Duty. Can't write me off playing Call of Duty with a slight beard. <laughs> Nickel's back. Well, the bottom line is you're not the right descendants. Everyone else is wrong. Yeah, no, it was, oh my God. I just tried to avoid this, but I caused one anyways. Oh well. There you go. Hold on, because it's so short. We're doing this one on the stream. No, nope, reset. There you go. You guys forced me to IAA about an hour ago. You have all brought this upon yourself. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> but no, just I really, really hated people telling me to shave, especially on the weekends. I, I need to kind of half pay attention to it because it glitches out when I try to change the video. So I have to tell it to stop showing near the end. I don't have nine wood. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, it was. But no, th those are like the, the, the that and the PT are like legit my my two big things. Kind of like one, I had to go to college, but those two were like the actual driving forces to me, just not re-enlisting. <laughs> I re-enlisted the first time when I was in Japan because Japan was awesome. Then they sent me to Fort Sill, Oklahoma. They weren't going to trick me again. <laughs> I said, nope, I'm not re-enlisting. What do you mean you're not re-enlisting? No. I'm done with this. I'm really done shaving. What is this one down here, by the way? I feel like I need a bigger food stock, though, but whatever, I'm not gonna do it right now. That seed thing never worked, did it? It never worked once. Why didn't it work? All right. I swear I keep ordering this dude to build fucking... Do we just not have any wood? Like, no, no wood? I ordered him to build doors way a long time ago, and I haven't seen any doors. It's kind of annoying. They're already huge pool of talent. Am I happy with my chair? This chair does not torture my back. I am, however, uh, I'm not, I, these are two questions. Part one, I'm not happy with the chair. That's because of a personal reason. Part two, it does not injure my back. As a matter of fact, I have some slight like back posture neck issues from doing ruck marches and stuff in the military, like compressed spine and all that good jazz. So specifically, uh, the physical therapist I'd had at the time, like was kept harping on me getting like lumbar support and stuff to reduce the damage and pain I was having. And this chair does fine on that. So it doesn't torture my back, it does pretty good. Part of it is I have a, I have a thing that goes up and down. That's like a lumbar support. That being said though, it is green, which does not work well with green screens. I should have thought of that when I ordered it. So that's a slight problem. And also, I have a peculiar way of sitting where I'm always half cross-legged. I don't really know why I do that, but my right leg slightly hurts if I just let it dangle, basically. And constantly doing that has damaged the seating cushion portion of the chair where whatever this, like, pleather, whatever the hell this, this material is, I don't know, plastic, I don't know. I've actually, like, torn it a bit. So I do need to get a new chair now. So I'm not happy with it, mostly for personal things, but it does not torture my back. It's actually pretty good at the support. All right. Um, where am I? What am I doing? Can we build those blocks? Build machine screw pump. Oh my God, we, we no, these blocks again. What's going on with our carpenter? Our carpenter is really pissing me off. Oh God, I, 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 I. Something's wrong. Oh, that's right. I just didn't go over now. All right, what is this? Furniture. Yeah, I don't have excess furniture lying around. So it's not a furniture issue. But bye I... I'm gonna put a furniture pile there for now. Actually, I wanna put some of these down here. I 
no reason to have these on the top floor. The clothing slash finished good ones, though, is starting to freak me out because of all the dangers. What the hell is that? Terrifying. I have similar sharp acidness. I now have a bed sheet over my gaming chair and it's killing me. Turns out the fake leather doesn't do well. Naked, dude. I want to be clear. I'm not sitting in this chair naked. I have pants on. Alapega's making implications. I have pants on. I don't sit in it naked. Everyone knows streamers wear no pants. No, I wear pants. Also because I never know if someone's gonna like bang on my door and I know my dumb impulsiveness. I would hop up to go answer the door with like nothing on and I would just fucking willy the entire stream and then get kick kicked off the internet. I made an article. Freaking goober streamer willies the entire internet. Willy is now a verb, by the way. Willies the entire internet. More at five. Are they pants or pants? No, I will grant you that one. Right now, these are pants, but usually the pants I have on are exceptionally worn. So I'll, I have on clothing, but they're not the nicest. These ones are just like pants, pants. I, I wasn't like running around looking for a specific pair. You, you need to build me something. It's for the good of the forest. You're just not brave enough. <laughs> Interrupted by an alligator. Oh my god, I forgot that there were undead on this map. We haven't seen undead in forever. Where the hell? Why is there an alligator snapping turtle corpse? I'm gonna lock this door right now. Well, he's probably dead. Yep, that's tidy E E U W's blood. I don't know why he really wants to be fighting, but Tidy's dead. I don't think Tidy's gonna survive this. Yes, yeah, the Black Mages. Yep, he's dead. killed him what killed him the alligator snapping turtle corpse pushes the tree hater in the leg that killed him that's it that's it he pushed him it was a gentle pushing it just says pushes all these says pushes and he died he just bruised his leg enough that he died? Yeah, they're all just pushes for page upon page. Pushes, pushes, pushes. Well, Tidy's dead. What is his name? Just one EUW, not two E's. And it's Tadi. <laughs> Remember, put this is true. Push and kill somehow. I don't I don't understand this. Sephiroth.
All right, so who has the best martial skills? Sort by nothing. Ooh, he's a good whipper. Mace Dwarf, anyone named? I kind of want a named guy doing this. Hammer, axe. Hammer Dwarf. He's pretty good. I don't think I have a hammer, though. No one named, unfortunately. What are you? He's my manager? Let him get his shit. What party of my body do I need to work out? Uh, downward dog. Now, all I do is I try to purposely be leaning back, so to speak. As goofy as it sounds, the, the best posture is like the most stumped over backwards posture is like the, the the least intensive on the back hence why like legit if you look at this i have this specifically so it's off and sometimes when i'm doing games you'll see it not be there this forces the lumbar forward and then i have to lean further back like i can't point the camera down enough so you can see like i'm not just back i'm like bowing back a little bit that's that's not that's, that, that's like a good stretch Thing. I'm not saying that's good for like getting a muscle but that is like going like extremely slouch back is like one of the better things to be in slouching forward is actually one of the worst because it puts the, uh, the pressure of all the weight on the bow of the back whereas the other way around somehow it's not I have no fucking clue but do you tech neck into the screen what Do you tech neck? I don't know what that means. <laughs> You've got me on tech necking. <laughs> I have weapons, but they're undead. Most of these are pointless. Like, if you look at the combat that was happening, he was hitting him with a weapon. It's just that he's undead. Yeah, see? The tree hater struck the alligator snapping turtle corpse in the lower body with the pommel of her copper battle axe. Yeah, she had a battle axe. It's just undead. It's an undead freaking turtle that has scales and shells. It's a little armor. Did you buy a blue yeti? Oh, Alapega. No, my, my audio setup is fucking convoluted. It's really goofy. This is... I thought it'd have a name on it. This is a Rode Procaster that uses an XLL... A, a XLL... X, XLR, that's what it's called. An XLR mic cable that goes into... Fear the Snapping Turtle. Fear the Snapping Turtle. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the, uh, the camera for this. Easier to show. Alright, follow me. Follow me on journeys. I gotta drag the mic back here. Oh no, I have a... Shut up! Alright, I have a... Procaster mic that does an XLR cable down the mic onto the desk below it to this. This is a Go XLR, which is never gonna properly be in focus because the thing hates me. And there's a reason why I'm showing this. One, real quick, this is my quick voice button. I have four analog controls. And then I can just hit this and it changes my voice around. But even while it's on, I can hit quick. Buttons to change the audio. And you can see on the right, 
things turning on and off. Uh, and if it was closer, you could see the settings on the little knobs changing as I hit buttons. So this is just like pre-recording things that I have going on to change the voices as I do things. But really, the big, the big setup are these sliders right here. <laughs> DJ in a house. So really, these are my four settings, and I'm going to lower the the music as we talk. This, and part of what I'm about to say you're not going to hear, so I'm gonna say it now. This is the raw mic in. Unlike everything else that's controlling like some actual audio that happens no matter what, this is the audio from the mic level. So if this is too far down, you guys can't hear it. So I'll go, uh, uh. I keep trying to set it up so I can have this in the middle, but I've never been able to put in enough power to have this slider in the middle and not have someone say I sound quiet. So I just always keep this thing cranked to max. I, it's most I can do for that. This doesn't do anything right now. This is just, uh, this is when I'm like doing D&D &D and or I'm going to do any other co-op streams. This is the volume of me on Discord or in chat. But I specifically set it up in, in the settings. Oh, by the way, all these mute buttons are mechanized. So they physically move up and down. You can just hit unmute and it goes back. Because of that feature, if I put this all the way down, like let's say I was doing co-op with Alapega. If I put this all the way down, you couldn't hear Alapega. If I... So if I wanted it on the video to where like you couldn't like people on stream could hear me, but people on YouTube couldn't. So those are two different things. This one it is an aux in cable from the second computer to this station directly. And this is the Dwarf Fortress sound effects or the game I'm playing is audio. This one is an, an aux in line coming or essentially a the system line from the streaming computer itself. So this controls the audio levels of the music that you request as well as like the Dwarf Fortress scream sounds. This is supposed to be able to be set up so that I can record what I'm saying. So I can record what I'm saying. So I don't know how much that went through and that's because I keep di turning this off because it doesn't always work correctly and it annoys me. On the far right though, I also have the ability to temporarily mute the mic. So I'm gonna go, uh, uh, as well as if I say curse words and I'm thinking it through, I could say, and it's a censorship button. And then up here, like I said, we have uh, gender, pitch, reverb, echo, megaphone, robot, hard tune, and whether or not it's on or off. But each of these are also individually configured through the software of the app. So whenever I just hit reverb, I have to, I'm in here, besides the amount, I'm actually saying what type of reverb it is what type of pitch, gender. This is why I keep having issues every now and then when I do the voice changer, and it's because I changed something in here and I didn't remember I did it. And I can reroute the different audio to go to all the different things. So the line in line from the second computer, the system line from my computer, the chat as I was talking about, and the, the mic itself. That is almost a Procaster, P-R-O. I can get the mic to see it or the camera. No, it's not. You just got to trust me. P-R-O caster. The funny thing is, if you look at all the videos telling you how to set it up, they tell you to do the exact opposite of what I just did, but they're wrong. On uh, the actual recording thing, I have it set up. I know this is kind of goofy. I should just be making it show itself, but I have it set up to read in system, sample, broadcast, stream, chat, mic, and line in. It's five different things. That way down here, I have every individual audio level that I could track and mute manually if I wanted to. And then lastly, 
under audio properties. I have everything going to one is broadcast. Everything going to two, three, and four are recorded on different streams. So I can send to you guys 160 bits per second audio because that is what Twitch does. And I don't use up too many bits doing audio if you can't hear it better anyways. It saves more bandwidth for me to do video. However, secondarily, I have each and every audio stream unmixed like it's mixed for Twitch uh, individually recorded at 320 bits per second. Which means, one, the YouTube videos have higher quality audio, but two... Yes, it is the PRO. PRO Procaster. But yes, um, two, because I also record them in individual lines. For instance, the music we're all hearing right now, because I never do the 160 bits for my YouTube videos. I only do the 320-bit lines. I can take that individual audio line and mute it for the period of time that the music gets copyright hit and then re-upload it. And that doesn't affect the audio of me talking or the audio of the game alerts. It only affects the audio of the music being played. So that way I can mute the shit that gets hit, but I never change any of the audio for what we're doing. So some people may lose some entertainment uh, context because they won't hear the music but it'll, they'll never not hear the game, if that makes sense. Or if for some reason I have to mute the game, like let's say I was doing Grand Theft Auto, it'll never accidentally also mute me talking. <laughs>